gonna keep it rolling with Chad Fisher. I'm doing great, thanks. Okay, I'm ready to be judged, let's go. Let's get them pencils ready. Today's music is garbage, right? Today's music is terrible. I'm a, I'm a fan of the oldies music. See, I was brought up in a little bit of Marvin Gaye, some Sam Cooke, some Van Morrison, you know? That's the stuff I listen to. I like it because it was so subtle back in the day, you know, like Marvin Gaye. Let's get it on, hey babe. Let's get it on. I think we all know what Marvin Gaye was talking about, right? I think we can infer that Marvin wanted some tang. Marvin wanted a little bit of that tang tang. Nowadays, the subtlety is completely gone. I went to a club with some of my friends a couple days ago. As soon as I walk in the club, I hear this song. Face down, ass up. That's the way we like to fuck. Put it in the butt. Put it in the butt. I'm like, the fuck is going on in here? Shit. Shirley's got to be some females that's offended by this shit. I look around, all the girls like, put it in the butt, put it in the butt, put it in the butt. Like, what the fuck? Hell? And then as soon as they get off the dance floor, they go and talk to their girlfriend. They're like, I don't understand why I can't find a guy that respects me as a woman, you know? Like, Stop showing your damn butthole on the dance floor. Shit is not necessary. Ain't nobody attracted to that shit. My man down here like, speak for yourself, motherfucker. I like seeing some butthole on the dance floor. Motherfucker, you need to develop some standards. Real good. There's not gonna be any transitions to these jokes, so let's go right on into the next one. Can I get a round of applause for weed smokers? We got any weed smokers in the audience tonight? That's what I'm talking about. The people that ain't clapping too high to do it, they're like, yeah, man. High as shit right now, but yeah, I'm a weed smoker. <laughs> You know, I'm a, I'm a big time weed smoker. You know, I love the, the smell of some weed, love the taste of some weeds. Good! Mm. I'm a pothead. And you know you're a pothead when you smell a skunk and you think it smells good. <laughs> God damn, somebody got some dank in this motherfucker. Can I hit it just once, sir? Uh? Good God. So I get the skunk. It's a skunk. I don't give a shit. Roll it up right now. Some papers in a glove compartment. Okay. When I was a kid, I used to be repulsed by the smell of a skunk. Now I immediately just get the munchies and want to talk about 9-11 conspiracies. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> Super weird. You guys remember a couple weeks ago when Nancy Grace came out and was talking a bunch of bullshit about weed? Remember that? She said, I think it makes you fat and lazy. This bitch is fat as hell talking all this shit. Motherfucker. <laughs> You know, work out before you start calling people fat. Shit. She said, I mean, think about it. Do you want your cab driver to be high or your babysitter to be high when they're babysitting your kids? Let me tell you something, Nancy. Your babysitter is high as shit right now, okay? She blowing blunts into kids' faces, dangling them from a balcony, a la Michael Jackson style. Okay. She has no problem with all the chemicals in your house, which if swallowed or inhaled, could kill you in a matter of hours. But weed, which actually serves a medicinal purpose, I don't like that much. <laughs> like, hold still, Nancy. I want to get a good understanding of what stupid as fuck looks like. <laughs> stupid ass hillbilly. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> um, Nancy Grace always says some really stupid shit, you know. I was watching a show the other day and she said, Jesus is coming back. Don't worry, everybody, Jesus is coming back. I thought, you dumb son of a bitch. Doctor, mind you what happened last time Jesus was here? He was killed. <laughs> Wasn't that hard? So unless this motherfucker's developed an immunity to whips, chains, and nails, I don't think there's too much he can do for you, Nance. <laughs> Just gonna be honest with you. Maybe look for a savior with some body armor? I don't know. Might wanna start there. Um, Yesterday was Sunday, and I accidentally missed church. So I'd like to share a Bible verse with you guys, if that's cool. Exodus 20.13 says, Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's slaves. Can you be any more morally duplicitous? <laughs> Jesus. 
It's okay to have slaves, but do not covet thy neighbors, Negroes. Come on. Let's not be savages here, okay? Let's have a sense of moral code. Take your damn hat off when you come in church and tuck your shirt in. It wouldn't hurt you to put a little bit of money in that jar, too, you cheap bastard. Shit. (laughs) Um, I think gay marriage should be legal. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! But not for the same reasons you do. I think gay marriage should be legal so gay people would shut the fuck up. God damn it. We get it already. You want to be accepted by a sect of people that thinks you're gross and disgusting. We get it. Awesome. Fantastic. I'm Chad Fisher. Peace out. Appreciate you.